Federal investigators say the head-on collision that killed several members of a college golf team was caused by a driver with drugs in his system. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. When that crash happened in March, investigators first believed a 13-year-old boy was behind the wheel. It turns out his 38-year-old father was driving and had taken meth before the crash. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins live with the update. Macy. Hi, Clarice. Well, tomorrow marks four months since that deadly crash that took the lives of nine people. Just before our nine o'clock newscast, we received a statement from the mother of Lacey Stone. That's Chelsea Stone. She said the following, quote, it doesn't make things easier, but at least we know more of the truth with what happened. The bottom line is that someone made mistakes that resulted in the loss of several lives, including our Lacey. The National Transportation Safety Board released a new report about the head-on collision outside of Midland in March between a Dodge pickup truck and a van carrying nine members of the University of the Southwest golf team. Director Robert Malloy now retracting the NTSB's initial reports that the driver of the pickup truck was a 13-year-old boy. The driver of the pickup in this crash was a 38-year-old male and not the 13-year-old male as originally reported at the time of the crash. Crash. In a press conference on Thursday, Malloy explained that the severe damage to the vehicles and the fire that broke out afterwards made it difficult for investigators to figure out what happened. He says initially investigators believed the teen was driving based on evidence they had at the time, but he wouldn't go into specifics. And as a result of the DNA testing, we now know that the uh, older adult was the driver. And based on the toxicology report, Malloy says 38-year-old Heinrich Siemens had methamphetamines in his system. Certainly we know that meth uh, can affect uh, driver performance. Uh, we have seen this in the past. But he says it's too early to say whether or not the drugs contributed to the crash itself. No way. No, it can't be. God, there's no way. I spoke to Gary Rains back in March, whose 21-year-old daughter, Carissa Rains, died in the crash along with six of her teammates and coach Tyler James. She was a girl that if you met her, you loved her. There was no loving or hating. It was you loved her. Malloy says the victim's families were made aware of the new finding. Jennifer Zinn, mother of 22-year-old Jackson Zinn, who died in the crash, told Fox 4 in reaction to the new developments, quote, we are ambivalent. Doesn't really change anything. Several questions remain unanswered, including how fast each vehicle was going, whether or not the passengers were wearing seat belts, and whether or not the driver and the 13-year-old were ejected from the pickup truck. Malloy addressed one more correction, that the failure of the pickup truck's front left tire was not the cause of the crash, as originally reported. And our materials lab within that office uh, did a comprehensive evaluation of that wheel. And based on their evaluation of the wheel, they found no evidence of a catastrophic failure. Now, Malloy says they're still wrapping up the investigative phase, but the final incident report won't be ready until mid-2023.